there's a very important aspect uh, to the um, burning of the Quran uh, flack that's going around um, these days. Um, I've listened to a lot of uh, talk radio on the topic, um, and it seems to me that the media, mainstream media, the American government, uh, and many others are treating uh, Muslims like their um, um, children, that they're not capable of assimilating into the sophistication of American culture. And I want to um, proceed by the end of this video um, to burn a Quran um, in order to help the Muslim Americans assimilate and, and get used to the idea that this is how we we do things in America, that uh, everybody's religious uh, symbols and books and so forth are are um, up for any kind of treatment that um, could possibly be imagined. Um, that's just the way that's the way we do things here, and um, it's always been uh, tolerated by uh, every other American group. I don't know why we should think that um, American Muslims are so inferior uh, to the rest of us that somehow we can take it. You know, the the rest of us can take having um, our um, religious symbols and whatever. Uh, uh, other things pertain to our religion uh, undergo um, criticism and all kinds of harsh uh, treatments um, and that's part of what you know makes America great that, that we can you know we can tolerate those things we understand um, that um, it's healthy for to keep um, debate and free speech uh, and you know it's no it's no big deal really um, so I think that it's important that we treat Muslims as equals and not, not as uh, inferior, like an inferior race of people who can't um, live at that level of sophistication. So, you know, I want to do my part to, you know, to encourage um, Muslims to assimilate uh, to our culture. Um, some of the other reasons I think that, that um, the Quran is um, worthy of being burnt or deserves being burned um, has to do with the content of the Quran itself um, not so much that you know the usual arguments about the Quran uh, advocates the use of violence and so forth I, I think that would be fine if the Quran was a book of the true God it's, but it's not it's a false God it's a, the, the Quran contradicts the Bible if the Bible is holy, and the Quran contradicts it, the Quran certainly can't be holy. That's another problem I have with people calling um, the Quran a holy book. Well, that's not, it's not possible if the Bible's holy, the Quran cannot be holy, because um, it, the Quran contradicts the Bible. Now, we know the Bible is the true word of God, because God has um, confirmed that through the course of history and prophecy. For instance, the um, history of the Jewish people has been accurately uh, foretold uh, many centuries ago, um, and this we can uh, ascribe to the supernatural nature of um, the author of the Bible. Therefore, when somebody comes along later and contradicts that, well, that that uh, is an incompetent imposter. And so, I think that um, because the Quran portrays God as, as incompetent in that, re in that regard, um, then uh, it sh also um, warrants uh, being burned for that reason. Now, I wouldn't burn all Qurans because it's a nice idea to have a few uh, remaining for um, um, academic purposes. Uh, you don't want to um, annihilate completely. Um, it's just the burning is symbolic. It's not necessarily meant to uh, prevent people from the information. I think it's, it's important to, to be familiar with the uh, information 
in the Quran, so you can see why it's it's um, so fallible. So let me get my uh, get my matches. I actually started uh, burning the Quran outside uh, in the uh, fire pit because it's kind of messy to be a big fire to have in the house. Um, but I will burn it a little bit. Uh, here you can see uh, on the um, on the edge, the binding, you can see that uh, this is in fact Quran. It's got the um, Arabic language in it. Published in uh, it was published in um, Pakistan, as uh, our president likes to say, Pakistan, which is uh, sounds almost like a, some kind of a sport, like field hockey or ice hockey. But uh, we are going to uh, get the match lit now and. And give this a little, little burn action so that uh, our friends, our Muslim friends, can get used to um, <laughs> life in America and how to assimilate to America. Let me, I really like to burn the part that has the name of Allah on it because I believe Allah is a false god. So I think that. You know, it serves a double purpose uh, of uh, burning a false god, burning false prophecy, but also just helping Muslim Americans um, get used to uh, the way we live here in, in terms of our freedoms, uh, freedom of religion, freedom of religious expression. So there we go. You can see your smoldering, <laughs> smoldering Quran. I'll go out later on tonight before uh, before the end of 9/11. And, uh, and finish this off in the fire pit. So I hope that um, this video is uh, helpful to um, Muslim Americans.